Stay tuned for now a haul video as part of this vlog. <laughs> Self care Sunday. I'm in the drive thru at Tim Hortons getting something for my friend, but guys, I got so much. Look at this. So many goodies. Oh my goodness. This is why I cannot go shopping by myself because there's no one to stop me to be like, no, don't buy that. Like to talk reason into me. It's just my inner child being like, buy it, buy it, do it. Shadow got a treat at the mall. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn right I did, mom. <laughs> Be gentle. Gentle. Is it? I guess he likes it. Gentle. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shadow wants him. He already got his treat, that little rascal. He makes a great model though. <laughs> okay, I am back. And I'm going to do a quick market haul and show you what I got. And then I'm gonna eat some lunch and I'm so excited to eat. And I'm gonna try everything that I got. I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can. So the first thing I'll show you is some Father's Day gifts that I got for my dad, which is coming up. My dad's uh, birthday is always near Father's Day, so he kind of gets like double, double 
probably guess, but he loves hot sauces. And this one came with the hottest one they have, which I think is this one. Um, and these are made in Toronto. So I got these from a local vendor. And though, yeah, this is the hot one. So it starts with not so hot sauce, tropic like it's hot, hot pepper sauce, holy smoked pepper sauce, made from scotch, and million plus plus pepper sauce. That one sounds fun. Sounds like a challenge, which my dad and me are always up to for trying hot sauces. So it's kind of like a gift for him that I will also get to try. <laughs> And then I got him, um, the place where I got the hot sauces, it was also, they had like balsamic vinegars and olive oils. So I got this maple balsamic vinegar because he loves to make homemade vinaigrettes. And then I got it with this garlic and jalapeno flavored olive oil. So there's this bakery that is like maybe a 30 minute drive. And they have a stand at the market where they have these donuts and they're black forest donuts and they're amazing and I couldn't walk by and not get it because I literally saw black forest donut and knew I was getting it that was coming home with me <laughs> I don't know what it is about these donuts something to do with the chocolate and the combination of the cherry filling and the whipped cream that they use but it's literally like biting into heaven I'm gonna take a bite for you here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is so amazing. I knew it was gonna be amazing. That's why I got it. <laughs> Can't ever go wrong with these. <laughs> it's so full <laughs> mm. next there were a couple bookstores and um, I found a few cool things there so I got this book called Dreaming the Dark by Starhawk Magic, Sex, and Politics and it was $6 at this ease bookstore and I have another book by Starhawk that I really enjoyed reading about. So I got it and I'm excited to get into that. And then I've been studying Ayurveda, which is like an, in, an Indian method of healing, health and healing, whole body healing. And this cookbook totally called out to me. It's called Ayurveda Cooking for Westerners. And yeah, it has different recipes and it's not like a picture cookbook, but it has all about the different constitutions um, and it tells you like each recipe talks about how it helps and balances the constitutions or what constitutions it's good for. Um, so if you're into Ayurveda, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then you probably don't. That's okay. <laughs> it wasn't like on a shelf. It was just like sitting there so I could see the full title and I was just like, it was sitting there for me <laughs> and this was 1650 but a really cool find so I had to get it and then I got these artisan artesian journals they kind of have this like metallic film on them and there's like a teal one with flowers and then there's a gold one with this like geometric shapes so there is something really exciting that is potentially going to be happening in my life, but I'm not gonna say anything yet in case it doesn't. So um, to be determined, but if I don't use it for that, then I can at least use these for journals or whatever. I'm always writing and making my creation journals. So they will get good use. I paid $25 for two of these, but they're really nice. I really enjoyed them. They had black ones too, but I love a pop of color. Shadow agrees. I got some tea biscuits. So one is I think cheddar and herb and one is cheddar and dill. So I'll just take a bite of each one. This is the cheddar and herb and I honestly can't remember what the place was that I bought these but it'll be in the video. I think I took a video of it. So we will try this tea biscuit. Good. it tastes like 
a tea biscuit. <laughs> There's nothing special to say about it. It's just a tea biscuit. But it was calming to me and it was super cheap. <laughs> this is the cheddar and dill one. So we're going to try that. Mmm. That one's nice just because the dill is kind of not a flavor that you see in a tea biscuit a lot. So, <clears throat> very nice. This is what I meant when I said that my inner child goes shopping for me when I go shopping by myself. I got this giant turtle. It is literally just pecans and chocolate and caramel. I'm going to share it with my friend <laughs> and probably keep it in the freezer and just eat it in chunks. But, like, it was $7. How could I not get this? I had to try it. I'm not going to try it at this moment. I'm going to keep it sealed because I have all these other treats to eat. Um, and I'm assuming it's just going to taste like pecans, chocolate, and caramel. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> all right. I also got some jalapeno cheddar popcorn from uh, White's Gourmet Popcorn. So good. Oh, and where I got the turtle cookie, it was called a Harbor Town Fudge. And I was gonna get the fudge, but I decided to try a turtle today. So let's try this popcorn. Whoop. Ooh, it smells so good. You can't smell it, but <laughs> it's so seasoned. Seasoned very well. Oh, Shadow, I don't know if you want to eat that. It's jalapeno. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was spicy, wasn't it? Good thing it was a little piece. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Mmm. He said they had a sriracha one too, but they didn't have it. They were out of it. But I'm definitely okay with Mm. Mm. so good we're down to our final two treats they look amazing I'm going to cut them up into little pieces and put them in my freezer so I can snack on them here and there but this is the first one it kind of looks like a coconut dream bar looks like it's got coconut I think she said there's walnuts in it chocolate chips and maybe butterscotch chips Let's try it out. Mm. It's really good. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a blondie and a butter tart and a coconut square all wrapped in one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. How could I not get this, right? I've never seen anything like this. It's a brownie cookie with icing and caramel. And I got these from Canada Comfort Foods at the Western Fair Market. So, here we go. Cheers. <laughs> this is going to be one of the most indulgent things I've ever eaten. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. The icing is like a cream cheese icing on a massive brownie with rich caramel sauce. It is a dream, as I'm sure you can imagine. Look at that. It's like a giant brownie cupcake, essentially. So I'm going to sign off here. Thanks for joining me with this little market vlog today. I hope you are having a lovely sunny weekend and I will see you again whenever I decide to post another random video. Love and light.